Hi, welcome to Marte's Crossing. Don't forget to check the links below. Like, subscribe, ring that bell so you know when the next um, video will be uploaded. Check the links on my channel. And let us begin. What I want to do is explore a little bit this book by The Dream Oracle by Pamela Ball. Discover your hidden depths through symbolism and the tarot. Just a couple of things you sort of want to sort of start working with. If you really want to develop your tarot and there's something a little different, especially if you're finding yourself um, with dreams and you want to know a little bit more about your dreams, tarot is a great way to connect to some information relating to that dream. So what I want to do is just begin a little bit with, you know, you've worked through the tarot, you know some of the basic meanings, um, you sort of want to sort of connect on maybe a bit of a further, de uh, further details. So let's look at tarot meditation. So what you're going to do is to begin to meditate more fully on the tarot. You will need the major arcana of your chosen pack and a quiet place free from interruptions. These simple instructions will help you to maximize the information available to you. Okay, I'm not going to form a circle of the cards. I don't have the space for it. I'm not going to worry about that one, but I will read it to you. Form a circle of the cards in numbered order, placing the fool in the center. This is both your starting and your finishing point. That's one way you could do that. So maybe I will. Maybe we will have a quick look at how we could do this. You've got the fool in the middle, then you begin working with the... Um, Cards. So let's see if we can do this. Don't know if I have enough room, but I'm going to try. I mean, they don't have to be perfect. It might work. So you could do it this way. I know I'm doing a bit of a I've got a bit of a small space. You might find yourself with a large a larger table and it might work. What I'm doing at the moment is just doing all the putting all the cards in order. Move these cards around until we can find space for them all. Okay, so I've got all the cards out, right? First thing, so you've got the cards all in a circle. Next thing you want to do is study the main image of the fool carefully. Recognize that this represents you as you set out on your journey on discovery. So you're looking at the fool. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to imagine or visualize yourself as the fool and really feel him as he is carefree and fancy free. So you want to think of the fool as someone who is um, free spirited, full of laughter, joy, adventure, all those aspects that um, makes up this fool. Okay, next look carefully at the secondary images on the card and try to sense how they relate to the main figure. What use would you make of them and how would there be an interaction between any of them? 
So you want to look at the dog, you've got the cliff there, there could be a sun, you can see what he's wearing, he's got a rose in his hand here, he's got a, um, a pole over his shoulder with a knapsack there, you can see these mountains in the background. So how, got, you can see that he's wearing his boots, he's wearing a hat with a feather in it. So how would the fool interact with those aspects? If you're able to, try to become each image in turn. Do not be too disappointed if this is if this is difficult to begin with. With practice, it becomes easier. So next, so once you've done that completely, next stage is to look at the magician. Look at um, who he is. You see the figure eight. You see the table with his tools on it. You see the roses, what colour are the roses around him? How has he got his hands? What's in his hands? What's he wearing? What's the colour of the belt? What's the colour of the robes? What else What else um, is involved with the magician? Writing those things down or visualising them to begin with and then writing each thing down. You'll find yourself starting to understand the cards a lot more. Now return to the main figure and sense yourself as a fool within the landscape. See everything through his eyes very clearly with a fresh sense of wonder. Like Alice through the looking glass, you may well have presented your everyday reality. If you can spend a few moments in this state, one that is almost dreamlike before returning to the re re reality and reorientating yourself in the everyday. Finally, see how each card applies to your own life at this particular point. Choose a new card every time you wish to learn more about the stages of the fool's progress towards maturity and follow the same procedure with each card. As you master the major arcana, your dream symbolism will often take on a deeper meaning and allow for greater understanding. Then using the various techniques introduced in the dream management section, you can enhance your link with your own internal dream oracle. So take a moment and look into the card. Look at the character. See the things that are around the character. What's the character doing? Writing all those things down and creating your own thoughts about what the card is doing. Now this can be done with any deck. This deck is called Secrets of Tarot by Amanda Hall. And um, it's just based on Rider Waite Smith, which is why I'm using this in this um, demonstration. But just to give you sort of an idea of something that you can do when you want to enhance your tarot practice in some way. Tarot meditation is an alternative idea. Instead of just doing readings all the time, to do a meditation or a tarot, a fool's journey, um, looking at each card individually, looking how the fool interacts with the magician, how does the fool interact with the high priestess, how does the fool interact with the empress? Looking at that and how they how they um, connect is one way of working with the deck. So just something very quick to sort of big, um, as you want to enhance your tarot study. This is one way that you can you can do this. So that's it for today. Just a little you know under ten minute practice. Take care and blessed be.